So deep hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, shoulders back and down. Activate your core. So bring those ribs towards your spine and up. Feel your spine lengthen a little bit. And take a moment to breathe. Spread your toes, sink evenly into your feet, and just get that inner focus. Inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level. Stretch your fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front and clasp your hands behind you. Press the fingers to the floor and lift your heart. And then exhale, pivoting open. Come into that position as deeply as your back would like a little stretch through. Hands toward the ceiling, head toward your legs. Move your chin around, get your neck releasing a little bit. And then bend your knees slightly. Start at the bottom of your spine and wind your way back up, lifting your heart, dropping your shoulders, spreading your toes. So take a few moments and breathe, lengthening out through the crown. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and take a moment just focusing inward on that body response. And again, arms to shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. Lift your heart and stretch your head back, and then pivot, exhaling over. And again, just hang for a moment, letting things stretch a little bit more. And wind your way back all the way up into the back bend, lifting your heart. Drop those shoulders and shoulder blades down. Stretch your head back. Spread your toes out, no gripping. Inhale upright, release your arms. And again, just feel your spine getting more activated. And reaching your head to the ceiling, bring your arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, pass them in clasp, bring your arms by your ears, stretch up through your fingertips and head. Sink evenly into your feet and lean to the side. No twist on this one, remember. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra side stretch. And out through your hands and head. Make sure both hips and both shoulders face the front. And then inhale back upright. Keep those shoulders down and switch the other hand to the front. Arms back and stretch up. Lean to the opposite side. And again, push the foot you're leaning away from down for those rib opening stretch. And lengthen through the whole body. Inhale back upright. Release your arms. Circle the shoulders back a couple of times and get ready for our twist. So base of the skull, base of the spine, stretch it. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders and clasp the elbows. Stretch the spine apart and twist to one side. Keep the weight on both feet evenly. Stretch up through the crown and then pivot over at your hips. Deepen into that twist, forward bend, and just relax. Lift your hips, relax through the back of your legs and through the shoulders. Keep your arms by your ears and the weight on both feet as you work all the way back up. Lift your heart, looking toward the ceiling slightly. But remember, don't lift your chin too high. Chest up, shoulders down, elbows back. Take a moment there in the back bend, in the twist, being gentle always on your lower back while you're twisting. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around. And again, stretch the spine apart and twist to the other direction. Take a breath, pivot it over. And again, just deepen as much as you'd like. Let your body relax as you're in that twist forward position, lifting your sitting bones. Inhale, staying in your twist, keeping the weight on both feet, coming into that upper body once more for your back end. Take a moment and breathe, keep the shoulders down, the chest up. 
then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, arms extended, shoulders down, and lengthen through the crown. Swan dive forward, so bring your arms to shoulder level, pivot at your hips, stretch everything straight, and then drop into ragdoll and head. So just deepen as much as you like, letting your whole upper body just be heavy and you down. Slide your hands up under your knees, come into your halfway up stretch. So elbows, knees, and spine, everything straight as much as you can. And then again, dropping into ragdoll. Lift your sitting bones, tuck in your chin slightly, bend your knees a little bit. And again, just wind all the way back up into mountain pose. Feel your whole body a little bit more activated. And then lengthening up through the crown. One more twist, just gently turning to each side. So follow your hands from one side to the other and let that spine get a little bit more activated with the twist. And then coming back to the center, let's do a little stretch on the back of the body. So bring your heel of your palm to your shoulder blades, fingertips down toward your waist, and then pull your elbows toward each other and feel the chest expand. Feet hip width apart, hips over your ankles, and then look up, keep those hips over your ankles, hands pressing in to support that lower back, coming into a back bend as much as your body would like. Lift your heart, maybe a little bit more, pull those elbows toward each other, feel the chest open. Take a few breaths and stretch out through the crown. And then chin toward your heart and release your arms and again come back into mountain pose. Turn your toes slightly out, bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond, hands above your knees. We're doing another twist, so spread your toes, bring your shoulder across to the opposite knee as you turn your whole body to the side. So the hip that you're turning toward comes up a little bit, the other one swings a little bit forward as you bring that shoulder across toward your knee. The whole body is turned toward the side, including your shoulders and your neck. And just look to the side. Exhale, turning back to the center, looking at the floor, stretch it out and twist to the other side, opposite shoulder coming across to the other knee. And again, the hip coming up slightly and the hips, ribs, shoulders, everything turning toward that opposite side. Shoulder coming down as much as it wants. Take a breath and exhale, turning back to the center. Tuck in your chin, round your back, wind your way back all the way up, feet to the front, back into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get back there and bring your arm in close to your ear in that backstroke and swimming, turning from one side to the other. So feel your whole body, whole spine working as you bring those arms in close to your ear. Just allow your whole upper body and spine just to get a little bit more active. And then both arms come up next to your ears, sitting bones down, crown high, and we're going to stretch one hand higher, come up on the opposite toe. So the side you're stretching, that foot stays flat, that's where you're going to stretch apart a little bit more. Exhale that one down, inhale the other one up. Just keep stretching toward the ceiling with your head and your fingertips. Coming up on that opposite toe, really press down into the foot on the side you're stretching. Let's do that again on the first side. And again on the other side. And then bring both arms up right next to your ears, both feet down. Sink evenly into your feet. We're going to pivot at the hips and come forward. So everything is straight, parallel to the floor. Stretch the sitting bones and crown away from each other. 
and then exhale down into ragdoll. Pull in a little deeper with your hands behind your legs if you'd like that low back stretch a little bit more. And in towards your legs. And again, drop the hands to the front and wind your way from the bottom of the spine all the way back into mountain pose. Feel the stimulation, warmth all along your spine. And let's do our pelvic tilts. So again, toes go angling out slightly. Knees bending toward, not beyond your toes. Hands above your knees. Remember, no pressure in your hands, just positioning. Sitting bones back and crown opposite. Stretch it out and then drop into the back bend. So those sitting bones go up and back, chest down and forward, and look to the front. So get into as much of a back bend as your body feels right. And then tucking the sitting bones down and forward and pulling the ribs in, look down between your feet. So you're all C-shape rounded, getting that belly back and the shoulders slightly forward. Inhale, keep shoulders over the toes throughout, coming into the back bend and exhaling into the forward. So feel your whole spine working, breathing with it, inhaling as you expand the chest forward, exhaling as you crunch that belly in just a little bit. And the next time you're forward, pause and come on back up into mountain pose. At the moment, sinking evenly into your feet, spread your toes, get that base of the toes area connected. So we'll do our balance practice. So get your favorite balance foot working, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, activate that core. So belly in, ribs towards your spine and up, shoulders back and down. And when you're sinking evenly into the ball of the foot area and heel, no gripping with the toes. Remember that takes pressure out at the bottom of your foot and gives you less support. Bring the other foot up when you're ready, as far as you want to go. So you can pull it toward your heart or keep it close to the floor if you're balance challenged. Find your point and then when you're stable, work your ankle around, getting it nice and flexible. And then flex and point before putting it back down and shifting to the other side for our balance. So again, spread the toes, get that bottom of your foot working, getting everything lined up, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, core active. Remember, we want to support that back as you reach the crown of the ceiling. Keep the shoulders over the hips. And again, when you're ready on that side, bring your leg up as far as it wants to go. And find your stability before you start circling that ankle, breathing with it working it around, and when you're ready to release, straighten it out before putting it back on the floor. Sink evenly into both feet in your mountain pose, and then step the feet together. Bend your knees, or not beyond your toes, hands above your knees. Remember, never press with those hands on your knees. And just circling, get that lower body working a little bit more. So feel your feet work, your ankles, your knees, your toes, everything, getting a little circle, and then stop and circle the other way to balance things out, because we like to do things evenly on both sides. Take a breath or two, relax, feel what's working in your body. And then coming back to the center, find your balance point out in front of you, lift your heels. So coming out to the ball of the foot, base of the toe area, spreading those toes out, get good support for your balance. Take a moment, breathing, finding that balance. Exhale, tension. And then roll back and forth on the bottoms of your feet, getting those toes and arches and ankles working even a little bit more. And when you're ready, come on back up into mountain pose, feet hip-width apart, 
Pass your elbows behind you or bring your hands up between your shoulder blades into reverse prayer. That's just going to keep your shoulders stable. We're going to bend the knees toward, not beyond your toes, and then just circle the hips and lower the back. So getting everything working through that lower back, ankles, legs, hips, stop. Go the other direction with your circles. Notice if it feels the same or different on each side. Just be gentle if you need to. And again, coming back up and into mountain pose. Shoulders rolling back and down, bring your arms to shoulder level and stretch your fingertips out. Spread your fingers and turn the palms up and some circles. So circling way out through the fingertips, up through the crown and big circles with those arms. And then small circles, feel the difference. And then stop. Turn the palms down and circle the other way. So again, big circles as you start. And then small. And then stopping, stretch it out. Keep those shoulders, shoulder legs toward your waist and the crown reaching up, spine open. Keep the hips over your ankles. Push one hand further to the side, a little side motion. Back to the center over the other side, and back to the center. Palms up, bring your hands overhead, bring the palms together, and swan dive forward. Pivot all the way over, hang and rag doll. Slide your hands up under your knees, halfway up, stretch, everything straightening, elbows, knees, and spine. Bend your knees, come to the floor, into our child pose, transition. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down. Take a moment and breathe. Just relax, letting that whole spine with a good stretch. Knees together for a little extra low back stretch if you love it. And then inhale, sitting up and come into a seated position. You can either bring your legs out in front into staff position or come into just a cross-legged position. But remember, we're creatures of habit, so switch those legs around because otherwise we always start the same breath. And we'll work our neck and shoulder a little bit. So bring your chin into your little throat center notch at the base of your throat. Feel the back of your neck get a little bit of a stretch. Exhale, tension. And then bring one hand at a time back to the back of your head. And add the weight, not pressure, never press with your hands. Just let the neck get a good stretch along the back. Exhale, any tension. Remember, your ribs are in and up, supporting your low back. The spine is straight all the way up to your neck. And then you're just stretching the back of it. Take a breath, relax into it, and then bring your hands back down and tip your head up. Lift the chin and look toward the ceiling, but remember, keep stretching through the back of your neck, through the base of your skull as well. So the whole neck is lengthening as you lift that chin. Move your jaw around. Stretch the throat. <laughs> and then tip your head back upright into a neutral position. Switch your legs around. And get those sitting bones behind you and core active, spine stretching. Bring an ear over toward one side. Keep both shoulders down. And again, Lengthen through the spine. Exhale, any tension. Beside your tipping toward, bring that hand up. Just add the weight to the outside of your head, giving a little extra stretch through the neck and shoulder. Stay there if that's good, or bring your hand to the floor and stretch a little bit more if you need. Take a breath, relax both shoulders down. 
and just let that head come over to the side as far as it wants, but no punching those ears up or shoulders up toward the ear. Take a breath, relaxing. Release that hand and the other hand, sit back upright, and then tip your ear to the other side. And again, just feel that opposite side begin stretching a little bit further. Hand coming up to the outside of your head, getting a little extra weight to that stretch, no pressure. And again, keep both shoulders down. This other hand can come to the floor if you'd like for a little extra pressure in it for that stretch to increase if that works for you. But remember, never overdo any of your muscles. Just let them do what they need to do. Exhaling, relaxing, allowing the stretch, never forcing. Take another breath, releasing your hands, tipping your head back upright. Take a moment and breathe. And if you've got your legs crossed, you can bring them out to staff position or leave them in cross leg position, switching across. We're just going to stretch up through the crown and turn your chin toward one shoulder, going into a little twist in your neck only. So the hips and shoulders both stay facing forward, just turning your head, backing out of the driveway. Keep the crown reaching up, relaxing. And then chin back to the center and look to the other side. And again, breathe and relax. Exhaling, letting that twist happen. Take a breath. Check that the hips and shoulders are even facing the front as you turn only the neck. And again, turn back to the center. Your legs are still crossed, bring them out to staff position, and we'll do our dog in dog thing. So bring your foot to your inner thigh, knee out to the side, and then bend the other knee, heel back next to your hip. Remember, it's not under, but that hip is slightly up, so you can twist, lengthen up through the spine, separating those bones for the twist, exhaling, turn toward that first knee you bend, hands on your leg or the floor, Ribs coming in, rolling those shoulders forward, tuck the chin, dive the forehead down toward your knee, and then rotate your face to the front, lift your heart, and come up to the sun and the sky on the inhalations. And breathe. And again, sinking down, pulling those ribs back, chin tucking in, diving on your as you exhale, you're the dolphin. And jumping up to the sun and the sky, like those dolphins leaping out of the water as you come up on the breath in. And just feel your whole spine working, feel your whole body going through its motion. The next time you're at the top, just take a moment to pause. Exhale, turning back to the center and releasing your legs. Back in staff position, sitting bones behind you, crown reaching to the ceiling, feel that spine more activated. And of course, our dolphin wants to go the other direction. So bring your foot to the inner thigh, knee out to the side, let the hip release and relax, bring the other knee, bending forward, heel over near your hip. Stretch up, this hip is up so you can twist, exhaling, turning toward that first knee. So the hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning, bringing the ribs in, tucking the chin, rounding your spine, exhaling down. And then rotating your face forward, lifting the heart, looking up, stretch the back of the neck as you come up in the forward bend. No, backward bend. Forward bend, forward, rounding and exhaling down. And then backward bend, inhaling, coming all the way up, chest lifting. And just once more, feel those bones of your spine all moving one direction and then the other as your breath completes its motion. And the next time you're at the top, turn back to the center, releasing your legs back into stem. Feel the spine more activated. 
And bring your feet to the end of the mat, into step, getting ready to roll down slowly to the feet. Use that core for support as you bring your lower back, ribs, and shoulders, shoulder blades, shoulders, and head to the floor. Take a moment as you get into your reclined position. Let's do one quick more twist. So hands to T position, palms up or down your chest. Sitting bones toward the heels, bring your heels in, feet off the floor, knees above your hips. And just roll the knees to one side, turning your head toward the opposite arm. Shoulder, shoulder blades stay down, whether your hands are up or down. Take a moment in the twist, just relaxing, letting that lower back, middle back, and neck area twist as much as you like. And then heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, knees over your hips, and roll into the opposite side, head turning the other direction. Keep those shoulders and shoulder blades down, middle back twist, head turning, neck twist, and of course, knees coming toward the side in your lower back twist as much as they need. Take a breath or two, relaxing. And then bringing your heels back toward your hips, roll onto your back, feet to the floor, slide the knees out, toes together, hands next to your hips, palms up, shoulders down, lifting your heart, relax your legs and your whole body, and let your body just sink into that surface beneath you completely. Deep breath in, exhale, let everything just sink deep into that first support. Softening any part of your body that feels tense, just let it relax completely. And as your body releases deep into that first support, Allow awareness of your body to release from your attention. And as you do, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let those drift away as easily as your breath. Deepening into that inner awareness, allowing the thoughts to release. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let everything go. Thoughts drifting, body softening and sinking. And just let your awareness release your body and your mind. Find that peace deep within. And fill your awareness with peace, filling your body and your mind only with peace. And of course, keep relaxing as long as you have time to do that today. And if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. Breathing, stretching, and allowing your body to get ready for more. Your final yoga hug of appreciation. So sitting bones toward your heels, back gently down. Draw your heels toward your hips, send your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, however feels good for your appreciative yoga hug. Letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, head and feet on the floor, we'll roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for the rest of your day.
Thanks for joining me.